Prince Louis was given his royal title thanks to a last-minute intervention by the late Queen. At the Platinum Jubilee festivities last year, Prince Louis was seen chatting with his late great-grandmother, demonstrating the close relationship the late Queen had with the younger royals. Prince Louis bears the title HRH, but if the late Queen hadn't stepped in after his birth, the infant prince would have ended up with a very different title. The now five-year-old was born in April 2018, and from the moment of his birth, he was granted the title of Prince. Louis reportedly received his HRA title entirely because of his great-grandmother. A law that had been put in place by King George V in 1917 that stated that only specific royals would receive a title appeared to be overwritten by the late queen. He said at the time that only a sovereign's children and male line grandchildren would be entitled to titles automatically. However, great-grandchildren, who were at the time of Prince Louis' birth, were not covered by this law. When Prince George was born in 2013, the late queen made the decision that this will be changed. To change this for all of the prince and princess of Wales' children, including the couple's daughter Princess Charlotte, she intervened and declared that George would receive a title. Lewis most likely would have been Master Lewis Cambridge or Master Lewis Windsor if the modification hadn't been made. Archie, the baby of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, was born the year after Lewis, and the rule change raised concerns about what title Archie might assume. Many people have speculated that Harry and Meghan didn't want their children to have titles like Princess Anne didn't choosing to live as normally as possible instead. Megan expressed her concern for Archie's safety in their 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, expressing her concern that he would not receive a royal title. They were saying they didn't want him to be a prince or princess, which would be different from protocol, Megan recalled telling Oprah, and that he wasn't going to receive security. I was going to say that this continued during the final several months of our pregnancy, because he won't be a prince, they claimed, he won't receive security. Okay, well, he needs to be safe, so we're not saying don't give him the title of prince or princess, but if you're saying that the title will affect that protection, then we haven't created this monster machine around us in terms of clickbait and tabloid fodder, and since you've allowed that to happen, our son needs to be safe. Despite residing in the U.S., both of Meghan and Harry's children started using their royal titles earlier this year. The pair claimed in a statement that as the current monarch's grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet had a birthright to it.